Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, I'm going to go over Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1 .1 beta number one. What the heck is this? We were expecting beta number 11 or even a brand new gold master, but instead we got 11.0.1. .1. I'm going to go over why Apple did that. I'm going to talk about all the resolved issues and new features. Let's jump in right in and get started. Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1 .1 beta number one was released today on October 28th, 2020 at a, around 12 noon Central Standard Time. So let's jump right into why I think Apple did this. I There's a bunch of rumors right now for the November Apple Silicon event that's it's said to be on November 17th. So what's happening now is if they're going to meet the production dates, if they're going to say, well, Apple Silicon, the first MacBook is going to be available a week after they announce it, they have to produce them, put them together and ship them in time for that date. So they're already most likely building these machines. So my guess is, is that 11.0 Gold Master or just 11.0 is what is installed on those MacBooks. So that's why they jumped right to 11.0.1 to beta number one. So A, they, they're not gonna release the version because it's gonna have all kinds of information that's gonna be a, a specialized version just for those Apple Silicon devices. There's gonna be board IDs, who knows what the heck could be in there, and they don't wanna release this out. And they did this, the same thing for iOS beta 14.1. The phones came out with 14.0 and they were already working on 14.1 by the time the phones really, so when they hit, and just like the Apple Silicon machines hit, there's gonna be an immediate software update in in software update the pane for those Apple Silicon devices to jump right to 11.0.1. .1. So that's why I don't know for sure, but I think this is what's gonna happen. Again, we're looking at what Apple has done in the past and we're thinking what they're gonna do with the Apple Silicon here. Now, right off the bat, I saw in, in some of the forums that people are saying that they're, they're not seeing this update. Or another problem that they're seeing is that when they're downloading the update, they're actually downloading the full installer. And how do you know that? I keep track of the sizes of the update so you know what to expect. So let's jump really quick down to those, those sizes here so I can show you what that looks like. And I show you the full installer is not available yet. The full installer usually comes one day after release. So we're hoping that the 11.01 .01 full one, uh, installer is will be released. And I'll let you guys know that in the in the comment section here and in my Twitter as soon as that goes live so you can start testing that. Um, but the Delta update is 3.69 gigabytes. So when you go into, and I've got a picture here on the desktop so you can see what this looks like here. I'm going to zoom in. This is what you could this is what you're normally going to see when when the update comes up. But a lot of people are complaining that they're not seeing this and they're just hitting this update now. For some people, this is downloading the full installer. I'm not sure why that's happening, but what you have to do is you got to click this more info here. And I'll zoom out and I'll show you what that that one looks like. This is what you should see. You should see the update and not hitting the update now. Now keep in mind if you hit that update now, the, the, it should start to just download this, but for some reason, people are getting the full install. Now keep in mind, this is even worse because what's happening is the 11.01 the, the .01 full installer isn't even out yet. So you're actually downloading beta 10 full installer. So that looks like a kind of a weird bug right now. So make sure you click on that button and I'll go back there just so you can see that one more time. Make sure you click on the, um, the more, informa more information here to open up that secondary window to get that update here, which is this one here. So once you see that, you can click install now and I'll kind of walk through the install process that I went through. And again, I've mentioned this the past two different releases that the, the Apple has said that the Big Sur updates are supposed to go faster. And I gotta tell you, on this 2020 MacBook Air that I'm using to do the, this testing on, it is not going fast at all. You can see right here that it is already downloading and that's no big deal. The download goes okay. The problem comes in when we try to do the, when it starts to prepare and stage the update. Cause that's, there's three different stages here. We have to download it first. 
Then we have to prepare the update before we even leave the operating system. Once the update is prepared, then it reboots to the actual installer, and that's the Apple logo and the black menu or the black progress bar that shows you the amount of time. That's the third stage. And when that's done, you go right to the login window and you're all done. So you can see here it's downloading and then we'll go to the next step here. And this is when it's saying that it's starting to prepare. Now here's the problem. Again, like I said, for the last couple updates, it's been taking a very long time and I timed this one. It took an hour to sit here and prepare this update, even though it said it needed only 15 minutes. And like I said, it's not like this is a slower machine. This is a 2020 MacBook Air, so you would think that it would go a lot faster than it is. But it basically sat here and, and, and I, I took more pictures. So you, what I wanted to show you is what was actually happening in the background. So I took this screenshot. And what this is showing is it's it's about three quarters of the way through and still showing 15 minutes now. So the progress bar did move. I pulled out the progress or the activity monitor and I selected the disk option. So you can actually see the disk acti activity. So let's zoom in here and so you can see this happening. What I'm looking at here is the data read per second. So this is telling me, normally this sits around 216 kilobytes and you're, it's, not even, it's not writing any data, but it's reading the data. And that's why I was saying that it's staging right now. So when you see it's reading in the megabytes from anywhere between five and 15 megabytes, or it could be higher, that's when you know that it's actually doing something and it's not stuck. If you go into this prepare and it's only doing, it's not doing anything like in kilobytes, it might be stuck and you're, not, you're having a problem. So when I saw this, I know that it was preparing and it was doing okay. So I said, okay, we're just gonna wait. And then here, here's the next stage. Now we're, now we're about 80% and now we've got 10 minutes remaining. So let's keep going. Now we've got five minutes and probably about 85 to 90% done. So we're probably at the 50 minute mark here. And then finally it did go and this is what I got when it came back up here. So again, let it go. It's, it is moving, don't power down or try to close off or update. Give it to some time to go. So that's it for that the install process. Let's go back here. And I've got the combo update. Now remember the combo update, um, I don't have that size yet, but the combo update is for if you were on beta, anywhere uh, for, from beta one to 10, and, and that's it covers all those, and that's why it's a little bit larger. I'm gonna guess it's around 4.5 gigabytes. Also, the T2 bridge update happened, and it updated the bridge up uh, bridge OS update from, or the T2 chip from uh, 18.16.12.402 to 18.16.12.551. So that's it for the installer information here. Before we jump into the new features, I wanted to go back over something really quick and I wanted to go over the versioning. This, this release now kind of cements what the versioning will look like. We now have macOS Catalina 10.15.7 out. When macOS was first released, it was 10.0.0. And it's the same thing with 11. It's going to be 11.0.0, probably on the Apple Silicon devices. But when it goes live, it's going to be 10 or 11.0.1. .1. So let's look at the SW version here. And you can see that. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to match exactly what Mac OS 10 is. So, for example, this is what's going to go live, probably 11.0.1. .1, and then the next combination update will be 11.0.2. .2, and then next year, it'll be 11.1.0, which will be released. So I just wanted to kind of go over that. And I think it's neat that we kind of know how that versioning is going to be now. So let's jump right into the new features. Let's take a look at some of those new Big Sur 11.0.1 .1 wallpapers. We've got some new dynamic desktop pictures and also some regular desktop pictures. I took a screen grab of the wallpapers before we made the jump so we can compare from beta 10. Let's take a look at those. We'll move over these to the side here. And you can see that there's four brand new dynamic desktops. One, the cliffs, the lake, the desert and the beach. And look what they're kicking out to the curb. Mojave is gone, see you later. Let's open up the next one here and I can show you the regular desktop pictures that they have added and removed here. We'll go back down here and we can see that Catalina is still here if you wanted to use that. All the other uh, Catalina shorelines are still here, but look, Mojave, is gone and it's replaced with peak day 
and Peak Night, and we can see all these are new here. These are brand new. I'll, open, I'll show you that next screen here. And they also have removed these flowers. These flowers are gone, and they've got these shapes. These shapes are still there from, from the previous release. So that's wallpapers. Let's, let's take a look at the, the next new thing here. And actually, this is from my friend Martin Noble. He's got a great YouTube channel, and I'm going to link him in the description, that he jumps into uh, all the new Big Sur over-the-air updates, and he dives into the files, and he finds the new logos. He finds all kinds of new cool things. And one of the things that he explained was is that he dug into the new startup chime sound. And they've changed it from the MacBooks, from the the earliest Big Sur supported machines in 2013, which is the MacBook Pro, all the way up to 2017-92. They've used the same startup chime as the T2 systems. And he also found out that it's a mono sound. It, it will, you'll immediately tell that it's different. And it still sounds okay, but it's just mono. And when you jump, when you get to the T2, it's actually stereo sound. So I thought you guys would think that that's really cool. And let me know in the description if you guys have an older older test machine or your main machine that you've updated to 1101, and you can tell the new difference with the startup chime. Let's talk about the next thing, 4K video. I've got my favorite beach video here. There was a lot of discussion on beta 10 that they were having, users were having a bunch of problems with v, VP, VP, VP9 codec. And you, if you were still having that, you were supposed to go into the developer menu, this is the fix, and you go down to experimental features, and you could you could scroll down here and see the VP right here the VP9 decoder you would uncheck that and that would work. So, but you don't need to do that anymore because you need that for 4K. So let's leave that on and go back here. And as you can see, this video is in HD, but you can if you click on that, it's hidden away here. You got to scroll up, and we've got 4K. It's going to take a little bit to buffer, and once it does, you'll see the little 4K logo down here and it will play 4K video. Look at that, that's beautiful. So that's working A-OK -okay in 11.0.1. Let's go back to Martin Noble because he actually found another thing in 11.0.1 that is new. And I've got a screenshot that he took right here on the desktop. And this is really interesting find here. This is what users are going to see when and I talk and I'm going to put a little link in the uh, description box here that I talk about my what to expect in Apple Silicon recovery series of videos. I talk about this and the recovery system for Apple Silicon is going to be totally revamped. There's going to be a macOS recovery. If that's broken, there's going to be a macOS system recovery. That's like the final backup before you hit, run into serious problems. And if that thing goes, this is the the logo that you're going to see and telling you to go to this website to find out more information. Now what's interesting is this website does not exist right now. I don't think they're going to make it go live until Apple Silicon because they don't want to say anything about that. But the if you want to get a better idea of what that will look like, we can actually go to support iPhone restore. And we can see this is probably what it's going to look like. And it's going to look pretty much the same. Restart your device and it's going to be a picture of an Apple Silicon Mac telling you to plug it into another Mac and do the DFU restore. And you guys have already seen the, my videos talking about that whole process. And I'm going to totally cover that once the first Apple Silicon device comes out. So you guys will be totally under, uh, informed on how to get that done. So I thought that was really cool that he found that in there. And that's what we're going to see if we have... Hopefully you never see that, right? Hopefully you never see this but I think it's really cool and him and I were talking about this we we're actually kind of sad because this is what he found in the original files it was looking like at one time we were actually going to see the sad Mac come back and I'm, I'm I gotta be honest I'm bummed that that's not in here I wish this guy was like replace this little logo and I get I get it they maybe they didn't want to do that but this is this is the logo that that all classic Macs would have if they were if they booted up uh, and had boot problems and it actually played a little uh, chime sound to let you know that it was a sad Mac so 
I don't know. I'm bummed out, but hey, I get it. They 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 decided to go with this this logo here. So I just thought that that was kind of cool here. There, uh, let's let's shift over to AirPods for a second. You guys saw my AirPods automatic switching video where I talk about the new feature. There's also talk, and I don't have my AirPods with me right now, so I can't show you this, but there's also talk of, of when your AirPods are connected, there's a little icon at the top. Now, I talked about that icon, so I don't know if, if the person that was talking about this, there was actually multiple people talking about this, if it's the same icon as I talked about in my video, I'll have to, to double check that and see if that's the case. Plus, there's also a, what what is looking like a bug. Once you update to 11.0.1, .1, and if you go into the, the sound, the, what users are saying is when they connect their AirPods, only one, one of the AirPods of the left or the right is working properly. But what looks like happened was, the and you can see that I've got my input here. We'll go to the output. The AirPods will be right here. And... What happens is, is somehow, for some reason, this slider bar is going all the way to the right or the left. So if you put your AirPods in and, it's, and you can only hear out of one side, double check this output of the AirPods when you come back up from the 11.0.1 .1 update. And this should, should fix it, hopefully. So the we also have, there was also one more bug that, that happened. It's not really a bug. It was like a, there was a fast user switching icon logo that was up here in the menu bar. And that disappeared once I made, I made the jump. And, and for other people too, that made the jump to 11.0.1. .1, so that was kind of great that that's gone. So that's all the fixes that I have right now. If anything new comes out, follow my article that I've got out there. I will continuously update with that with any new finds. Also, you can follow me on my Twitter because I anything new that I post, like for example, if our full installer comes out tomorrow, I'll be, that'll be the first place that I'll post and you guys will stay totally informed with what's going on. Uh, what is the future hold here? Uh, before the Apple event. Are we going to get a 11.0.1 .1 beta 2 or 3? We're in uncharted territory right now with brand new hardware on the horizon. We just don't know for sure. We also have no clue when Big Sur is going to be released. Is it going to be released next week? Are they going to say are they going to tell us at the event? It's coming up pretty quickly here. We just don't know. We're again, we're on uncharted territories. We're just going to have to kind of see at all the rumors. We there's we don't know. No one predicted 11.0.1. .1. There was no leaks for that at all. So we we're going to have to kind of see how it goes here. Again, I'll let you know when something comes out. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If this is something that you enjoyed and you want to keep on, on top of all the news that is coming out, click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It shows me that you, you enjoy this content. Talk to you soon in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.